In this question, f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3. A. To find the y-intercept, because it's in general form, the value of c is the y-intercept. Therefore, the y-intercept is equal to 0, 3. find the x-intercepts, we need to factorise x squared minus 4x plus 3. So we need two numbers when multiplied together will give us 3, when added together will give us minus 4. So that will be x minus 3, x minus 1. Therefore, x equals 3, or x equals 1. So the intercepts are 3, 0, or 1, 0. B. We need to put f of x into the vertex form. So we want it to look like x minus h all squared plus k. So, we need to complete the square. So, starting with x squared minus 4x plus 3. Halve the constant associated with x. So, we get x minus 2, all squared, subtract minus 2 squared, add 3, so we get x minus 2 all squared, minus 4 plus 3, so we get x minus 2 all squared, minus 1. Therefore, h is 2, k equals minus 1. And C, sketch the graph. So we know the y-intercept is 0, 3. We know the x-intercepts are 1, 0, 3, 0. We know the vertex is 2, minus 1. So we can draw the graph. And it says, clearly label the x-intercepts. So, 3, 0, 1, 0, 0, 3. And the vertex is 2, minus 1. In this question, f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 12x plus 9. We're asked for the y-intercept. Well, again, because it's in standard form, the y-intercept is at 0, 9. 9 being the value of c. So for the x-intercepts, we will have to factorise. So first, divide by 3. So we get x squared plus 4x plus 3. Now we want two numbers. When multiplied together, we'll give 3. When added together, we'll give 4. So we can x plus 3, x plus 1. So x equals minus 3 or x equals minus 1. So the intercepts are minus 3, 0, and minus 1, 0. B, again, we need to complete the square. So if we're going to complete the square, 
So you got 3x squared plus 12x plus 9. Forget the 9 at the moment. Factorize out the 3. So we have 3 brackets x squared plus 4x. Now we're going to complete the square in the middle. So we've got 3. In the brackets, we've got x half the 4 to get 2. Then we're going to subtract 2 squared plus 9. Now we can multiply out. So we get 3 x plus 2 squared 3 times minus 4 is minus 12 plus 9 so you get 3 x plus 2 minus 3 so a equals 3 h equals minus 2 k equals minus 3. For the graph of f of x, write down the coordinates of the vertex. Well, the vertex is at hk. So the vertex is equal to minus 2 minus 3. The equation of the axis of symmetry well, that is at x equals h. So therefore, it's at x equals minus 2. And the last part, d, says g of x is f of x reflected in the x-axis and then translated by the vector 0, 4. That means you want minus f of x plus 4. Well, minus f of x is minus 3x squared plus 12x plus 9 plus the 4. So therefore, you get minus 3x squared minus 12x minus 9 plus 4 so g of x is equal to minus 3x squared minus 12x minus 5. in this question f of x is equal to a brackets x plus 1 x plus 5 and we want to find p and q well, P and Q are when X plus 1 equals 0 or X plus 5 equals 0. Therefore, X equals minus 1 or X equals minus 5. Therefore, P is equal to minus 5 and Q is equal to minus 1. Find the value of A. Well, we're given another point. We're given the point 0, minus 10. So therefore, A, when X is 0, so 0 plus 1, 0 plus 5, well, that is equal to minus 10. Therefore, a times 1 times 5 is equal to minus 10. So 5a, make sure that's minus 10. So 5a is equal to minus 10. A is equal to minus 2. B, the equation of the axis of symmetry. Well, the axis of symmetry is halfway between the x-intercepts. So the x-intercepts are minus 1, minus 5. Halfway between them is x equals minus 3.
in part C, we want to find the vertex. We already know the x coordinate, it's x equals minus 3, because the axis of symmetry passes through the vertex. So we want to find f of minus 3. So therefore, we put it into our equation. We know a is minus 2. We know x is minus 3. Minus 3 plus 5. So we've got minus 2 times minus 2 times 2. So the y coordinate is 8. So the vertex is minus 3, 8. In part D, we've got two transformations. We've got a reflection in the y-axis, followed by a translation by the vector 0, 2. And we want to see what happens to minus 2, 6. Well, a reflection in the y-axis changes the sign of the x-coordinate. So, after the reflection, minus 2, 6 becomes 2, 6. And then for the translation by the vector 0, 2, you add 2 to the y-coordinate. So, therefore, 2, 6 goes to 2, 8.